ever since childhood, we have been taught that the pursuit of happiness is the chase of a lifetime. I'm Terry Bradshaw, and I've learned that true success is not so much about what you achieve, but how you achieve it. Join me as we span the globe, meeting the people working hard to attain their own net worth. Young innovators are bringing new technologies to the forefront of the energy sector. Let's take a closer look. The oil and gas industry has been greatly enhanced by relatively new practices of directional drilling and hydraulic fracturing. But as happens with many new technologies, these are getting a lot of bad press lately. One of the issues that have made the industry look bad is the disposal of various fluids after the procedure is over. Now there's a new solution that is not only friendly to the environment, but good for farmers and anyone who relies on their crops for food. This idea is being spearheaded by independent oil industry support companies such as Jericho Services. Jericho Services is a service company in the oil and gas industry. We specialize in water hauling, frack tank rentals, and applications of mud off of drilling rigs in the tri-state areas of Oklahoma, North Dakota, and Montana. The oil and gas sector is a challenging place to work these days, with consumers watching the price at the gas pump soar ever higher and environmental disasters happening all too frequently. Following oil spills in the Gulf of Mexico and along pipelines in Michigan, there are now more rigorous regulations than ever before, from the EPA as well as OSHA and DOT. The best practices for a company in this industry are to make sure that personnel are properly trained and that quality control metrics are being met. The oil and gas industry is not out to rape and pillage the environment. We strive hard every day for the safety of others as well as our employees and serv other service companies. We work hard every day to make sure that the environment and what we do is safe and protected by everybody involved. The drilling process requires a lot of water, into which are mixed some chemicals along with sand or mud, all of which gets pumped downhole and subsequently extracted. One of the challenges drilling operators face is what to do with used drilling mud after it does its job. Traditional solutions have involved pumping it into underground aquifers or otherwise dumping it into the environment somewhere. But an ingenious new idea has surfaced called soil farming. In the old days, we did a lot of things that uh, we probably shouldn't have done, uh, dumping it just about anywhere. But today, uh, it's all pretty much contained in reserve pits. Uh, but when we soil farm, it's the best merger we've come up with between the ag industry and the oil and gas industry so far. Drilling mud consists mostly of water, clay, lime, and finely ground bark along with ingredients that give the solution more weight and viscosity in order to be effective thousands of feet underground. It just so happens that these ingredients are excellent for farmers to spread atop their fields to help nourish their crops. In some areas close to drilling operations, farmers are doing just that. Somebody way smarter than me came up with the uh, concept of, of what drilling mud was made of doesn't really hurt the ground and it doesn't. The limiting factor in most areas are the chlorides, uh, the rules that govern soil farming, uh, the land application of drilling mud were, were designed in Oklahoma, they've been used in other states and I believe soon will be in North Dakota. The clay tends to swell and it will absorb up to 17 times its own weight in water. Used as topsoil, this helps the land to retain moisture and stabilize the soil itself. Fertilizers, pesticides, and other soil conditioners are retained by the clays as well, providing the farmer with bigger, healthier yields. The oil and gas industry is looking very bright. I don't think we'll see below $80 a barrel oil, and we could see up to $125 a barrel of oil again. Who knows where it's going from here, but it will be great. The oil and gas industry is working hard to get its job done while protecting the environment and leaving the land as close to its original condition as possible. <laughs> 